Namaste. Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs. Welcome and welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 28th of May, the Moon in Aquarius trines the Sun in Gemini. An excellent day for socialising. Innovative ideas will flow naturally, making it a good time for brainstorming and teamwork. You'll feel more in tune with your emotions, making self-expression easier. On the 29th, the Moon in Aquarius squares Uranus in Taurus. Plans may change unexpectedly. Stay flexible and prepared for surprises. Sudden disagreements or misunderstandings could also arise, especially if someone feels their independence is being constrained. Unconventional solutions to problems involving technology or community come through today. On the 30th, Mercury in Taurus is conjunct to Uranus in Taurus. Unexpected information may come your way via email, phone calls or casual conversations. Your thinking might be more innovative, making it a, a good day for brainstorming and unique ideas. You may feel compelled to buy new technology or gadgets that improve your daily routine. On the 31st, Venus in Gemini trines Neptune in Pisces. Artistic activities such as painting, music or writing may attract you today. This is also a good time for romantic relationships. Your intuition and imagination are strong, making it easier to connect with others. On the 1st of June, the moon in Aries sextiles Venus in Gemini. A great day for romance and socialising with new relationships beginning or existing ones deepening. You might you might feel inspired to engage in creative activities. Any collaborations will be fruitful. On the 2nd, Mercury in Taurus sextiles Neptune in Pisces. A perfect day for writing or any work requiring creativity and imagination. Your intuition will help you understand subtle cues and underlying messages in conversations. Pay attention to your dreams as they might offer valuable insight or inspiration. On the 3rd, Mercury enters Gemini. Mercury is the ruler of Gemini and is very strong and effective here. Expect a surge of emails, texts, um, phone calls as your social life becomes busier. You'll feel more eager to learn new things, making it a good time for juggling multiple tasks and adapting to changing circumstances will come more easily to you today. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Make our wave! Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your messages for the next seven days. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive right in and unpack. Golly and gosh, you have the energy of a six. We'll break that down in a moment. Where you are, darling dears, you are on the seven. Let me lift it up so you can see. There you are. You're on the seven. This is the direction of um, the west. You may live in the west or you'll be traveling to the west or news from afar will be coming from the west, darling dears. We also have the energy of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Earth, Energy, darling, dears. So this could also be about your career, some kind of change, or maybe a new educational level that you're going to. Call an Archangel Uriel at any time for guidance. Mm -hmm. This is about you utilizing your resourcefulness, my air signs, over the next seven days. This is about your finances, creating a new level of stability for yourself. Good golly and gosh. 
The energy of the seven also speaks about entertainment as well as your creativity and children, according to the low shoe grid, Chinese numerology, darling dears. So you may be branching out using your creativities, mm -hmm, your talent, something that you've actually co-created and put together. It's going to fare you well over the next seven days. Why? Let's drop down and get our eagle on as we sip our mockers because we ain't getting smoked. You have the energy of the two. The two speaks about travel, darling dears. You're going to be traveling. Um, any travel plans that you have over the next seven days will be fortunate, darling dears. It could be travel for business. Everything is going well. This is going to be, a, over the next seven days, you're going to be getting a lot of compliments, maybe even gifts. Gifts could also be in the form of what? Knowledge, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the four is about security and foundation. Some of you will be going into some kind of relationship, maybe joining forces and finances. The energy of the four also speaks about communication, written, all forms of communication, darling dears. Pay attention to it. And as I said, you may be signing some form of contract. Pardon me, that's a spiritual belch because I speak the truth. Roof, pinkies up. You may be signing some form of contract over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. You have the energy of the six. So this is about the six. You could be a life path six or a life path 33. The number six, 15 or 24 could have some significance in your life. The number six rules the letters F, O and X. The number six is ruled by Venus, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Venus rules Taurus and Libra. It also rules the letters U, V and W. So you've got F, O and X, U, V and W. You're a natural born healer, darling dear. Some of you may even see you as a jester. Maybe you have that dry sense of humour. But you are funny. And not funny like, oh my God, like funny, ha ha. Mm -hmm. Your luckiest numbers over the next few days will be the 3, 6 and 9. Your luckiest days will be Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Um, numbers to avoid are one, five, and seven. The number six is represented by the astrological aspect of a sextile. So you're being supported in what? Fostering harmonious relationships. You've learned from many mistakes, darling dears, and you're now using it for recon, not for a place to do well. Because why? Was it Edison said that he he didn't make any mistakes with the light bulb? He found ten thousand ways not to do it. Mm hmm. It's never a mistake when you take the lesson, darling dears. It also speaks about you are an extremely responsible and caring person, protective of those you love, as well as yourself at this moment in time, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You may even be more community orientated at this moment in time, or home and family, or maybe broadening your social network or social circle. The energy of the 33 tells me that you are a spiritual teacher. Okay, you have, you may have an extrovert personality, but you're peaceful as well as resilient. Mm -hmm. Your voice and your vision um, is meant to elevate others in the most profound way. You have to put yourself into a position where you can be a spiritual teacher or teach from your testimonies of life. Darling dears, well, you are air signing. You've got it logged, mate, and locked in. Mm -hmm. Memory of an elephant and all that. Mm -hmm. You are here to express and teach over the next seven days love it so let's get the cards associated with this so we're going to be talking about gemini why did i say gemini freudian slip meant to come out okay so we're going to be talking about venus Venus is coming through with a solid four. Again, we have two. We now have two fours on the tableau, darling dears. This is the energy of what master healer. You're going to be healing some kind of situation. You may even be a healer, a spiritual healer, or you have a spiritual business or whatever. Whatever life practice you do, darling dears, you are a healer of others, and your strength is your is your testimony. Mm -hmm. Your strength was tested many at many points in your life, but it also catalyzed catalyzed a new beginning. Mm -hmm. You have an on, in, an opportunity to, to make a huge impact on the wealth, both um, materially and spiritually, over the next seven days. But you have to keep your big picture in focus. Mm -hmm. Love it. The energy of the force speaks about you creating some kind of stability and structure. You're, you're in ma tip-top manifestation mode. Okay.
so we're going to be looking at also the sixth house the house of routine darling dears the sixth house is about your work um, your co-workers your working conditions your body um your health your daily routines your hygiene it could be about pets organizations it's about um, maybe you're going for further training or maybe you're in a caretaking position darling dears all of this and that okay let's get one more comes through the end of a, so you've got 30 39 and 4 on the tableau darling dears down to three energy of the empress earth and venus energy knowing your worth and adding tax it also speaks about um, being being um, fertile. If you could be, it could be of a pregnancy, or you may have progeny, or it could be fertile with a new idea, which is about to be born, darling dears. This idea is going to be abundant. Remember, tell no one, but the Most High and the people that need to know. Possibly somebody will be what um, making a contract for a pattern, maybe a book, something specific to you, darling dears, that you co-created from within. You're about to be what? Signing major contracts. Some of you will be traveling to sign this contract or the travel could be via the internet. Okay. Let's press on. Let's press on. Let's get your Oracle Ancestral message. We're going to use the Wisdom of the Oracle. Wisdom of the Oracle Chakra, Wisdom of the Chakra Oracle, whatever. If you know the name, please put it in the description box below. If you'd like to... Acquire the deck, follow my link in the description box below to my Amazon storefront. Oracle Ancestral Message. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You are into mysticism, darling dears. And it also speaks about you feel as though you've been shunned or certain doors are shut for you. If you explain exactly where you are, it could be mysticism, it could be spirituality. It's also a reminder what to pay attention to your intuition and discernment. All answers come from within. It also speaks that some of you may feel as though you have a secretive partner around you. Well, if they're keeping secrets and they're your partner, listen, it needs to be investigated. But you have an air of mystery around you and it also speaks about, as I said, you are highly intuitive, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the purple represents your um, your third eye chakra, darling dears. I see the 852 frequency. The energy of Venus, darling dears, is the 639 frequency. Play them at night time to what? Balance out your chakra energies. Yeah, listen to your intuition and your discernment, darling dears. And it's also a reminder that you are the feeder of whatever wolf or it could be cat that you have inside, the good and the bad. We also have um, a new moon, darling dears. We have a new moon in Gemini coming up on the 6th of June. It's a good time for what? Cutting soul ties, setting your intentions. Gemini will be in the realms of your communications. This is setting ten your intentions for your communications. You could be expressing yourself, having good times with neighbours or siblings, or they may be your adversaries, um, extended family members. This is about you. Um, learning as well as teaching, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Something about your childhood is going to come up as well over the next seven days. Okay, something that you're going to have to use your instinct, instinct and your intuition. And maybe you might have to use mysticism, the occult, to heal yourself from that situation or circumstance. Because trickery is afoot. A hoodwinker, someone who may be a high commander Decepticon. I just spoke about your childhood, possibly a family member. A sibling may be trying to rear their ugly head over the next seven days. When I say ugly, you might, might be, they may be an adversary to you, darling dears. And they're coming back to finish you off, blood. What do you think they're coming back for? To see if you're well? They know you're well. Mm -hmm. Why? Because nobody watches you closer than a hater. Trust and believe. They even know if you, if you, if you've got... You've been eating corn. They will examine your feces. That's how deep they will go, darling. There's their hillbilly investigations. Mm -hmm. Right, let's get a deck and carry on. Push on at a hot trot. I'm going to use this deck. Base of the deck, Six of Swords is a movement card, darling. There's moving on from a situation, going from turmoil or confusion. Or maybe you, you were stuck for a period, darling, is waiting for something to actually come out and move in your favour. It's been moving slowly, but it's also a reminder that you must continue to what? Move in silence. 
It also speaks about people around you hiding their feelings. Some of you are involved in a long distance relationship. It's about examining whether it's for you, darling dears. Well, you listen to your instinct. Why? Because trickery is afoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but definitely a moving on card, darling dears. Mentally from a situation as well as physically. Right. For my single air signs. Messages for my single air signs. Messages for my single air signs. Thank you very much. Oh, you have the two of swords. A decision has definitely been made. Or oh, you are about to make a decision, darling dears. Air energy, you are air energy. This is something that has been well thought out. You're just not making it off the bat just like that. Oh, how now, brown cow? Mm -hmm. This is you coming out of confusion and indecision, darling dears. Coming, um, no, long, no longer overthinking a situation. This is making a firm decision, darling dears. Especially if it's an energy that you want to cut away. The Knight of Wands represents an in and out energy. It could be a sexual relationship, could be a friendship, could be a work situation. Wands represent your work. Yeah. This is the final cut of game. You said what you said. This is feeling betrayed in a situation. It could be lies, subterfuge, and bull swanky. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Two twos on the tableau, darling dears. Definitely speaks of a parting of ways. My single air signs. You're going to be leaving a, a situation, a situation where you felt stuck. All of the cards came out in the reverse. Yeah. I'm feeling as though if it's a work situation, your manager is a shepherd of the devil, darling dears. Yeah, air and fire. You never got along. It was always something about this person. This person is doing something in the background. They're about to be caught for some kind of stealing, hoodwinking of the company or business properties. Don't worry about them, darling dears. They will get their karma. Mm-hmm. The two of pentacles on its forehead, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. This is about you. You was feeling definitely feeling overwhelmed and struggling in this situation, but you're going to make a firm decision to move away from a situation. I'm seeing it's a work situation. It's affected your health. It's affected your 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 confidence, darling dears. My singles, you're moving away. Let's see. These cards are made of plastic and they're so hard to get off the table. Yeah, you're moving away, and it also speaks about ancestral protection. You are a mystic, darling dears. You have a foot in both worlds. You're an earth angel. It also speaks about the difficult journey you're on. But you have to remember, life is about the journey. The destination is dodo dead blood. You have the chance to change a situation and the cards are telling you to move on from whatever circumstance that situation is. If it's a partner, this partner was never on your level, darling. There's near a cheating bastard. Mm -hmm. A liar and a hoodwinker. This is someone that did not come in telling you the full story of what was going on in their life, darling. Dears. They was always struggling and juggling. You was the one that brought the table to the table. If it's a work situation, darling, dears, you're at odds with a manager or someone that you work with. Someone that you just don't get along, blood. And you're out of there. Yeah, you're leaving a situation. But what are you going towards? Something better. Something better. All right. King of Pentacles is somebody who is an entrepreneur. Maybe it'll be in a role where you're more elevated. This could be King of Pentacles is represented by um, Capricorn, Taurus and Virgo energy, darling dears. So you could be in the career of, I don't know, analyst and um, an accountant. A healer of emotional, mental or spiritual, health-related profession, um, in fitness, something service-orientated. The judge, um, a, a prison worker, um, oh my gosh, um, immigration officer. Um, what else can we have? What other careers? Come on, case. Think anything in a, in a managerial role, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Or a family business. Um, finances, public speak, restaurant work, teaching, um, buying and selling, cooking, whatever that situation is, darling dears, you're leaving for something better. You're going to be more established going forward, darling dears. This is cutting ties on once and for all. Listen to your instinct, darling dears. You are a highly, highly intuitive person. Never you forget, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. You've already learned your lesson of that situation, but you have to remember, being a martyr was not one of them fist bump okay let's press on let's press on
about those in a relationship or partnership over the next seven days? Relationship or partnership? Mm. That was a, quite a bit. Good God, yeah, gosh, standing your ground in a situation, darling. This it seems like there's no air energy out here, no swords out here. There was a lack of communication in the situation, darling. This one person is the main breadwinner in this situation, or it could be a partnership, darling. This, yeah. Somebody still wants to be committed to this relationship or partnership, darling, dears, but you will are able to create an opportunity if you leave that situation. It's up to you if you're going to want to go and reinvest in a situation. Mm -hmm. Why would somebody, why would the relationship or partnership, why would they want to invest in a new situation? Tower moment, sudden change, darling, dears. It could represent a divorce, ending of a job, ending of a relationship, a friendship, whatever that shit ship was, it's over, mate. It seems like somebody's tired of a situation. Someone wants to strike out. There's a lack of true communication. There is no air energy out here at this moment in time. Tower energy in the upright is fire, Mars, and Uranus energy. The destroyer, darling, dears. Somebody's also about to take some kind of self-defense class or you felt like you was always on the defense in this situation mm -hmm. okay letting go of the whole this the old this is about you creating a a new life path for yourself darling dears have a look at your life path number it also speaks about a fever you had a fever or your inner fever to release yourself from a situation somebody's also going to be going into surgery Know this, you will have a fever afterwards, darling, dears. Okay? Forewarned is forearmed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you are a lot stronger than you was from before, darling, dears. You're able to walk away from situations that are no longer serving you. Yeah, the person that you're dealing with may have been the main breadwinner, darling, dears. But this person also had other opportunities, the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is someone that has nostalgia. They they like the... the um familiarity of the situation darling dears but it's it's a burdening situation because he was always on the defense all right this is somebody that would nitpick be paying the bills maybe you're at school or something and they'll be complaining or maybe you work part-time and they're complaining about paying the lion's share when that was the agreement from the outset this is not the time to be living in uncomfortable situations you've got one life to live on this malkuf and you have to live it till the wheels fall off according to your rules darling dears you're leaving that situation and you don't care about the money that they have yeah you may not be leaving in the most the most happiest financial situation but five of pentacles darling dears queen of cups listen to your intuition take your loyalty on the road you have to remember if you are disrespected in your own town, Matthew 10, 14, you dust off your sandals and head out, tinky winky styly. Okay. Okay. Let's get a final card. And then we're out of here. Take it. Great. Are you enjoying the common waters, darling dears? final card all of them are going pick me we're going to use the romance angel cards because there's a lot of fuckery on the table yes that's right that's what i said i said it <laughs> i'm not taking it back you can't make me mm -hmm. final card for my air signs for the next seven days healing family issues and i said a family member may be coming back this could be a family business, darling dears. Look at the situation. See if it's going to benefit you. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Maybe it's the parent that was too overbearing in the situation. We also have chemistry. Mm -hmm. And with the chemistry, we've got what? Calling in your soulmate and soulmate, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. We have a fated meeting on the table, darling dears. For my singles and those in a partnership or leaving a situation. The relationship does not necessarily mean it be a love match. It could be a true soul tribe. How many of how many of us have a true friend, darling dears? True soul tribe around us. It's coming through, darling dears. You've called it in. A fated meeting. Remember I told you that. On that note.
I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks, where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Bika wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.